Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what Brett wants you to hear. Please remember this going to resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Brett wants you to know. Okay. Whoever I'm picking up on today, there are two people here in your energy, okay? Two people here that seem to be very interested in you, okay? Um, both of these people seem to be trying to get your attention. Um, they may be trying to impress you or something like that. Now, I am getting that... These two people know each other and well, like I'm getting that you may work with these two people or maybe they're in the same friendship group, okay, or maybe they're brothers or sisters or cousins, okay, it just feels like they know each other and I'm getting that they're both very attracted to you, I'm picking up on a divine feminine, okay, this is not going to resonate for everyone. But I'm picking up on a very strong divine feminine that seems to be in their power at the moment. And I'm getting that you're attracting a lot of love, right? You're attracting a lot of new opportunities, okay? People wanting to get to know you, okay? People are just very... You may be getting a lot of love often at the moment, okay? But then two people here in particular that are trying to get your attention. Um, I am getting that you seem to be compatible with one of the two people. Um, but I'm getting that. So the thing is, okay, this person over here, I'm going to call them person one, okay? So person one, right? They seem to be very interested in you. They actually feel like you two have a lot in common, okay? This person's very attracted to you. They're actually quite intimidated with their emotion, okay? Because they're not usually somebody that, I mean, yeah, they're attracted to people, but this person feels like they have caught feeling for you quite quickly, okay? And they're not usually one to do that, to be honest, that is really out of, it's like they're not used to that at all, okay, it actually takes this person quite a long time to catch feeling for anyone, okay, this is not the type of person that usually catches themselves thinking about somebody, missing somebody, wanting to be with somebody this intense, I just seen 404, but you kind of got this hold over this person. Um, you definitely have this person thinking about you, okay, in their heart centre about you and their emotions and feelings about you. Although this is something that this person would never show, okay, because this is actually very out of character for this person. As I mentioned before, like, they're not used to this, um... They also don't know how to act, okay? This person may be doing little things, okay, to try to impress you, but I'm getting that this person, they're not being too open with their emotions. This may be somebody that 
I'm getting that they have a lot of different people that they flirt with, okay? They're definitely very flirtation. They're definitely very... It's like they're out there, but it's not in an emotional way at all. It's more in like a player way, okay? So this person, they may have different people that they flirt with, okay? Nothing too serious. Um, this is somebody that... It looks like they don't care what people think about them, okay? Like, when you view this person, they do give off this very... Like, they don't care, right? Like, you would get the impression that this person just doesn't care, right? That they're very, like... What's the word for it? Like, nonchalant, okay? Um, It's just they give this energy of not caring at all, just not really you know, they're not bothered. Thing is, this person low-key really cared what people think, especially their friends and the people around them, okay? And this energy that they're, it's like they're playing this character, okay? This character that doesn't have emotions, okay? It feels very tough, okay? Almost, um, quite violent, right? Not that this person has to be a violent person, but this person could Maybe they pick fights with people, okay? They try to dominate people and situations. Um, yeah. So, this person had kind of got the emotion here for you. And they don't really know how to show it. And they're also worried about... They, they feel like you're kind of catching them off guard, okay? You're making them feel... It's like they're breaking character when they're around you, okay? Um, whoever I'm picking up on today, again, I'm getting a very strong divine feminine energy. I'm getting that you're definitely, like, you're open to receive at the moment. You're in your power. Um, you may be getting, as I mentioned before, a lot of offer, uh, a lot of love offering, but also people may be just giving you things for free, um... People may be offering you, like, to help you with things. They may be just... I'm just getting people trying to get your attention and you are receiving a lot at the moment, okay? So I'm getting that you're in this energy where you really don't, you're not trying to attract love, okay? You always seem to be receiving love, but you're not trying to attract it. Um, you seem to be focused on yourself, okay? You seem to be focused on really just living your best life, um... I'm getting that you're not focused on love or attracting love. If anything, you could be dealing with a divine counterpart, okay? But I'm getting with this situation here, you're not really giving any energy to it. It also may be very surprising to you, right? I'm also getting that... So, remember how I mentioned there were two people, okay? So, we'll come back to person number one, then also person number two here that's trying to get your attention. Um, I'm getting that... Okay, so person number two doesn't really seem to have a chance here. Okay, I'm not sure why, but I'm just getting that they don't really have a chance with you, okay? Maybe you're not compatible with this person, maybe you're not attracted to this person, um... This person could be younger, for some of you they could be um, 
younger and if they're not they just could give off a very immature energy um Yeah, I'm just getting that, again, they don't have a chant. This person seems to be a lot more open, okay? Um, I am getting that this is somebody that's a lot more romantic. They're a lot more open with their emotions. They could be trying to actively pursue you. Um, but again, I'm getting this person has no chance, okay? This person could be a Pisces, they don't have to be. There's Pisces energy here, Gemini energy. So I am getting that... Whoever, okay, the person that I'm picking up on today, you are really not settling, okay? You're not just looking for somebody to settle down with, okay? Um... You definitely have the standards, um, and if people don't meet them, I'm getting that you're not interested. Um, for some of you as well, I am getting that you're on a soul journey, okay? You could have a divine counterpart, okay? Or somebody that, it's like you're not really interested in 3D connection because you're more interested in your divine counterpart and your soul journey and soul connection, right? But I am getting that there are definitely two people here hiding their emotion for you. Now, I'm getting that they have to hide it as well because they know each other, right? So I'm getting that they're hiding it from each other, right? And they're trying to be kind of subtle here. So I'm also getting that person, number one, and I mentioned before, um, they're not very um, open with their emotion. I'm also getting that they're very flirtatious, but I'm getting that with you. They could be flirtatious, but I'm getting that they, they kind of have a lot of respect here for you, right? And it's like the person, they act different when you're around, okay? It's like they're trying to hide their emotion, but I'm getting people around them are kind of catching on. For some of you as well, this person may actually... I don't know if they're in a relationship, but they definitely seem to be entertaining somebody. That seems to be seeing the way that they're acting around you. For some of you, um, you may have come out of some type of long-term relationship, okay? Or maybe you're going through some type of divorce. Um, I am getting that you are somebody that really does not want a relationship, okay? Um, you seem to... It's like you're in this single energy, okay? And you want to be there, okay? For some of you, maybe you don't want to be in a relationship at all. Right? You definitely seem to be very closed off to meeting new people, right? Again, this could be because um, you're on some type of soul journey, but I'm getting that you definitely are happy being single. Like, it's not like you're desperate to jump into a relationship or anything like that. We have Scorpio energy here. Okay, so, all right, this is such a confusing situation here, um, I'm getting this energy where 
it feels like there's going to be some type of argument or fight here, right? Between these two people. As I mentioned, they both seem to have feelings for you. They're both very attracted to you. They both know each other. They're both hiding it from each other. But I'm getting that person number one, as I mentioned before, they do play this character, okay? They have this energy to them where they really like to act. Like they kind of... So it's like they start fights, they're very aggressive. I do think this person, they're going to try to pick a fight here, right? With this other person in front of you. The thing is, right, I am getting that with person number one. You guys have a lot in common. But this person going to try to impress you in ways that you are not going to be impressed, okay? Like, they're going to start acting very violent. They're going to start acting like picking fights with people. And, again, it's like they're trying to do this to impress you. But, again, I'm getting that's actually going to turn you off this person. Um, you have seen people acting funny. And I am getting that these are your friends, okay? You have these people acting very funny around you, trying to impress you, trying to get your attention. Um, either way, the focus really seems to be on you. Right? It's like when you walk into the room with these people, like, they are, like, trying to fight for your attention. Um, and everything in this room seems to be actually revolving around you. Like, their actions, okay, the way that they're acting. Um, like, I'm just getting that they two are really trying to get your attention, both of them. Right? And it feels like that they're doing it at the same time. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but that's what I'm getting. So basically, I'm getting that person number one is really going to sabotage themselves by trying to pick fights with people, by trying to act aggressive, okay, by trying to impress you in that manner, right? They're going to actually end up embarrassing themselves and literally losing their chance or losing their opportunity here if they had one um for some of you i'm worried because if these two as i mentioned these two are friends okay or they're definitely like they know each other they even could be like related i'm worried because um with the five of swords and the three of cups reversed and the six of cups reversed, okay, this definitely, this argument, okay, could actually result in these two not talking anymore, right? Strong Pisces energy, we have Taurus energy here, with, we have Scorpio energy here. So basically this does not look good, okay? Because both of these people, again, they really want to be with you. Um, they seem to be, f even if they're not fighting yet, okay? Even if the peace is still there right now, right? Best believe that this is going to blow up, okay? And they're going to start to fight, okay? And they're going to start to... I'm worried again because it's not going to end well for these two. They're going to tend to like fight over you. And you may even walk away. Maybe you don't want any of these people, which are what I was picking up before is that you, you're you not really into it, right? But the thing is, um, it looks like it's going to cause damage here between this kid. And it's not your fault or anything, but... This is going to escalate into a massive argument where these two are not speaking anymore. Um, now, 
yeah, basically I'm getting that both of them are going to start to fight. They may not even be friends anymore, um, or they may not speak anymore, right? And I'm... Um, Like, even if you have checked out of this situation, okay, I'm getting that, I don't know, it's like kind of created tension here between them two. For some of you, um, person number one, as I mentioned before, very violent, okay. I don't know, it's like their ego hurt here and it's like they just, they need to get it out of them. Like, they really just, they feel... This competitive energy here with person number two, and I do see them kind of starting an argument, thing kind of blowing up, okay, um, and again resulting in them a massive fight or them not speaking anymore, right? And again, um, this feels like a fight over they both want to be with you, right? No matter how this goes to, I am getting that between these two, it's like they're not going to, they're not going to speak anymore. There's going to be a massive argument. Um, and I am getting that it, it feels like it starts off kind of as like person number one trying to like impress you. And then it just goes too far. Okay. So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.